Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. How you doing? Today we're going to discuss Stacks DeFi and the ways we can make passive income within their protocols. If you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you. All right, let's get into it. So DeFi, it's always a good day to just talk about DeFi. So let's go over here to DeFi Llama. And look, I've talked about Ethereum DeFi. They're at 60%, 29 billion. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you understand why all these different chains are building bridges to bring a lot of that money, that DeFi money onto their blockchains. But today we're going to discuss stacks. So let's go find them. I got a, there they are, 47, 22.5 million in total chain value. And it looks like Alex dominates here around 92% with 20 million. Our Deco is in second. And we're going to touch on City Coins. There's not much to be made there, but it looks like an interesting project. And it has come to light in the past. And I'll just briefly speak about it. These two ones down here are in construction and are not ready for my review. So first, if you're new and you haven't DeFi before or you're not familiar, you need to buy a token from an exchange. So you need to buy the STX token from one of these exchanges. After you buy those tokens, you need to set up a hero wallet. So a hero wallet is done here at this link, and these are your options. And once that wallet is set up, you'll transfer the Stacks token, the STX token over to your hero wallet. And that's what it looks like right there. All right, let's get back to it. So... If I click on Alex, the total 24-hour volume, not bad, 1.28 million. And we're going to go down here and we're going to click on their website. I already got them launched, so there they are. And so we're going to start here with the bridge. So here we go with the bridge, right? Almost every project I've been reviewing lately has got a bridge going on. This one is fairly new right it says beta so i mean use it at your own risk um you so you connect this one to your metamask where your ethereum well your usdt would be located and you'd be able to bridge it over to the stacks chain as s usdt token okay so that's one way to start if you don't have stx you don't want to buy it on exchange you just want to use your ethereum usdt so next we're going to talk about pools. So we've got to come over here and this is where we're going to make passive income and you're going to have to do some research. And for some reason, this another project that you can't filter by clicking the headings right there. So we kind of got to go down and keep an eye on what is the pool that is doing the most volume? What's the largest pool and so on. So if I look quickly here, it looks like Alex or STX and Alex, it's got 5.19 million in liquidity, 300,000 in 24 hour volume, so not bad. Let's go pick a quick peek. So you'll need the Alex token. So this is why they have the swap on here. So once your STX tokens are in your wallet, you can come over here, you're gonna click Alex, okay? And there you can swap for the Alex token from STX, so you'll need 50-50. So if you have 100 STX tokens, you're going to need 100 Alex tokens. If I put in here one, so you're going to get 10, almost 11 Alex tokens for one STX token. So you can figure out the math. So once you do, you'd come over here. This is the pool, right? You want to research. You can hit liquidity, and you can add the liquidity right here. And then once you finish adding the liquidity, right, you're contributing liquidity to the protocol you would need to come over here after and hit farm and then you would need to pick the right farm that you want to stake so you hit stake lp and then you can lock this up for a period of time and receive rewards and it looks like if you do it for 32 cycles it's 234 percent so if you had a hundred dollars you would times that by this and that's how much you would get $234 in rewards over 32 cycles, which looks like 717 days. All right. So that's how you make passive income on the Alex DeFi protocol. Next, we're going to discuss the next one in line here, Arcadico. Okay. So we'll click on them. I already have them launched. These guys were part of this, stacks accelerator program so if you're interested you have some development skills you want to get involved in this 
ecosystem. It looks like they have a three-month mentorship program. And here you can read about it. So one, month one, month two, month three. And it looks like they give you access to tons of different stuff. So including 70-plus mentors, that's pretty good. And you can even research funding. So they'll even give you money to start building on this protocol. All right, so let's go back to Arcadico. So first we're going to discuss the liquidity pools. So if you go over here, you can see pool. It doesn't give you much information on there. So you got to go over here to stake. And you, we're going to discuss this in a second. But if you want to look at the different types of liquidity pools, this one's giving the most rewards currently, 45%. So you need to come back here to swap and choose the liquidity pool that you want to use. So we're going to use this one. We're going to hit add and it'll give you some information. So once you contribute your liquidity to this protocol, you'll be earning 0.25% on trades for this particular pool. So this will be passive income. All right. So once you set up the liquidity pool, you're going to need to come over here to stake and scroll down and find the liquidity pool that you invested in and you're going to hit action and then you're going to need to stake that lp and once you stake it you'll start earning rewards and then you can claim those as they come up the next we're going to discuss the staking so if you come over here you can stake the usda so if you have stx tokens you want to convert into usda you can earn around 29 percent rewards for staking the USDA token. And we're going to look at different ways we can use this staking USDA. So I'll show you in a second. Another part of this protocol is borrow. If you have STX tokens in your wallet, you can borrow USDA. Okay, so let's go over here. They're called vaults, I believe. And if I click on the STX, the liquidation, so this is where you get liquidated. So if I choose this, the 4% is the interest rate. So if you saw that back there, that's the interest rate. So let me do an example of 10 STX, which is around $7.44. And I want to do a max borrow USDA, so four. So I'd be at 185% collateral to debt ratio. And you will get liquidated when it, once this goes down to 140%, would be around the 56 cent range. You can adjust this, so you can go three, and that would be 248, and your liquidation would be at 42 cents for the STX token. And if you wanna learn more about this, you can come over here, there's the link. It'll talk a little bit more about this. They advise 200% ratio. You obviously, you can go higher or lower. It's just based on your risk tolerance. And if you get liquidated, you will still own the USDA that you borrowed. So that won't disappear. It'll just be your STX investment that will be gone if you get liquidated. And what happens when you get liquidated is there is an auction and people will auction for that particular debt and try to get a discount off of your liquidation. All right, so let's go back over here. So we discussed stake, swap, borrow. Uh, if you wanna look, you can look at the analytics of this protocol as well. I'm not gonna go too far into it, but it's available and it'll display where the money is. And we hear it load here. So it looks like this DECO and USDA make up a big part of this protocol. And then you can scroll down and see some of the other. So that's the, looks like the SDX USDA pool has the most liquidity. And then there's also additional ones. I'm not gonna get too far into this, but you can look at that. So if we go back here, I wanna show you something you might be able to do. So if you looked at borrowing, right? So if I borrow $3 of USDA using 10 SDX tokens, which is $7.44, you can technically come back here and invest in this pool, right? That $3 or whatever amount you're using. So if you have the, I'm sorry, I'm jumping back and forth here, but if I hit borrow, so you're paying a 4% interest rate. And if we go back here, it's 28.95. So you're looking at around 25%, right? The difference, the only risk is being liquidated. So you have to stay on top of this. This is not a set it and forget it. You're going to have to 
set alerts, whether you're using TradingView or a coin market cap or something like that to find out if the STX token price decreases rapidly. All right, so that's DeFi on Arcadico. Seems like there's a lot of ways to make passive income on this protocol. The next thing I'm going to speak to you about just briefly is the city coins, and it really took a back seat after the whole FTX collapse. But Miami was setting up this Miami coin, and what it was doing is you'd be able to uh, mine city coins, and then it would increase the city's reserves, and then people would be receiving mining tokens so that would be paid out on sdx so like i said this is taking a back seat you can always come here and put your email address if you want to get alerts I, I believe eventually more cities will adopt this as the regulations start coming out in the u.s All right, so that is the two protocols mainly within the stacks DeFi ecosystem if you didn't know about the ordinals here's a, a link so these are nfts that are inscripted right in the bitcoin block space so if you want you can come in here there's some cool nft artwork that you could potentially invest in and and look to sell in, in bull market or just hold on right these could be potentially very valuable because it's part of the bitcoin block space and there's only going to be 21 million bitcoins ever mined so that's something else to consider as well all right so i hope you liked the video Thanks for watching. I'm going to continue to make passive income videos in the crypto space. If you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments. I will continue my work. Until next time, thank you.